in Major League Baseball, you have pitchers who have different roles. Some are starters. They begin the game. Some are middle relief men. They sustain the lead for their team. And some are closers. They specialize in closing the game out. Well, Jesus Christ plays all of those roles when it comes to creation. He created it. He sustains it. And in terms of human history, he's going to close it out. And it's all for him. Welcome to Truth Talk with Ed Skipper, published every Monday and Thursday at 6 a.m. Pacific time, where I take the truth of the Bible and apply it to your daily life. Listen to what Paul wrote to the Colossians in chapter 1, verse 17. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. So the universe is not chaotic, but orderly and systematic. Take our lungs, for example. They are created to breathe the air that we breathe. Our eyes are equipped to see with the light that exists. Jesus Christ designed the universe in a way that is beneficial to mankind. So if you were to change something, for example, if you were to change the rotation of the earth around the sun or on its axis, then the earth would become too hot or too cold to sustain life. If you were to move the moon closer to the earth, then water would inundate the continents. If you were to change the makeup of the gases that are in the air, then life would not be sustainable either. And in terms of human history, think of an airport. You look at the airplanes and it seems random and busy and you wonder, are they going to collide? But the truth is there is an air traffic controller overseeing it all. And Jesus Christ is overseeing both creation and history. He holds it together. He sustains it. I have trouble sustaining my yard, let alone the stars, the clouds, the weather, human beings, animals, plants, and the 800,000 known species of insects. If Jesus Christ were to release, or that is withhold, his power Nothing would exist anymore. He created it and he sustains it. So how should we then live? We should align our lives with Jesus Christ and his purposes. If you're watching on YouTube, would you comment on this? What is your favorite part of creation that argues for a designer? And also, if you want to hear more about what it means for us in our personal lives that Jesus created all things, check out episode 188 of Truth Talk with Ed Skipper. It is included in the description, the link to it. And until next time, given that Jesus created all things and sustains all things and that it's all for him, may your life be all for him.